So today in this video I'm going to be showing you how to use Pwnage tool to do the untethered jailbreak for 4.3.1. Now if you don't know the difference between Red Snow and Pwnage tools, that Red Snow just jailbreaks it right on the device and Pwnage tool builds a whole custom firmware that you then restore onto your iPod. Now this can be a little more inconvenient because it takes quite a bit longer and you have to restore and lose all this stuff and resync it all back onto your iPhone or iPod touch. So once again, this does not work for the iPad 2 yet, but it works for all of the devices and will give you an untethered jailbreak on 4.3.1. So go ahead and you can go over to the dev team uh, blog post about the new jailbreaks and you can see there's a link to the torrent and then download whatever torrent program you use and uh, it should start downloading. It can take a while to pick up the cedars, but eventually it'll download as a disk image. So then you can just go ahead and I believe you can run it straight off of the disk image. Um, and this is the newest version, so you won't have to do any of the patching stuff that you had to do before. And also copyright, iPhone dev team. Then go into expert mode and select whatever device you're doing. I'm doing iPod Touch. So then check that and hit continue. Then hit browse for IPSW, continue. And it'll ask you to find it. So we are doing iPod 4.1, 4.3.1. And so we can go ahead and open that. And now it'll start doing the verification for that it may lag your computer or hang the program uh, but this shouldn't last for too long so we're just gonna wait for that and it's done with that so now we have several options involving uh, installing Cydia packages or custom packages and general settings we're just gonna be going ahead and clicking build and once you hit next on this it'll just start building your custom firmware and this can take anywhere from 10 minutes to like 40 minutes. It can take a really long time, so I'm just going to cut back. You can look up here to see how long it took us. Uh, but yeah, I'll just come back when that's done. So it'll give you the option to change where it is. You can just choose the regular. It might overwrite something, but usually it won't. And now it'll say building IPSW. So like I said, I'm just going to cut to when this is over. Uh, and you can look up there to see how long it took out us to see if yours is you know taking ridiculously long but don't get discouraged if it's taking a really long time because it is a very long process because it has to process you know hundreds of megabytes so uh yeah we'll come back when that's done all right and then it'll start telling you to hold the home power buttons and give you a five second countdown so these are basically instructions to put it into dfu mode so you're going to hold the home and power buttons for 10 seconds. Then release the power button, hold just the home button for uh, another 10 seconds. And partway through this, it should just flash and tell you that it's in DFU mode. And it'll say successfully enter DFU mode. So now you can close the Ponage tool application, start iTunes, and restore with your custom firmware bundle. So how you do that, if you don't know, we're going to go ahead and open up iTunes. And basically what you're going to be doing is going into the screen where it says restore because your iPod or iPhone is now in recovery mode. And you have to click the restore. You're going to alt click the restore button. I'll show you that when we get in there. So just say, see it says an iPod in recovery mode. So go here and you don't have to download any new versions or anything. Now alt click restore and wait for this to come up so now we can go to wherever you have your custom firmware made and we have it see iPod 4.1 4.3.1 custom restore so select that click choose and it'll say this will erase and restore your iPod to 4.3.1 remember this is gonna erase all your stuff so it's preferable to use red snow if you can but if you have issues with that you can go ahead and hit restore and now it enters the process of restoring your iPhone. This shouldn't take too long, probably only, you know, maybe 10 minutes. But uh, we're going to be coming back when that's done. And if we have any errors, then we'll show you. And so everything went smoothly. Uh, you can see up there, that's about how long it took. And it'll show you this window that says it'll be dismissed in 10 seconds. And your iPod should now be rebooting. So uh, I'm going to wait for it to reboot. And hopefully Cydia will be on it and everything will be working but we'll see once it starts up. Now you did just restore the firmware so it probably shouldn't take too long to start up because it has you know it's, it's pretty much completely empty 
uh, there should be a little progress bar as it starts up and that will mean that it is almost there and just a little bit longer and it'll flash a uh, connect to iTunes screen for a little bit hopefully you still have it plugged in and it will just show that for you know five or ten seconds and once it goes away it, iTunes will ask you if you want to set it up as a new iPod or restore from a backup you don't have to do either right now uh, you can just open it up and we have Cydia right here so let's go ahead and open it and it all works so Cydia starts up just normal uh, and that's it that's how you jailbreak using Pwnage tool if this video helped you please subscribe but that's all we have for now see you later